So now let's focus on the different parameters available just here in the tool panel. So you have different options available following the drawing tool you are about to use. So at the moment, let's focus on the pen brush. Uh, so one of the first option is the size. So you can change the size value by holding the click on the little double arrow and go to the right to increase the size or go to the left to decrease the size. You can also use the shortcut Z. So you have this HUD that appears. You just have to hold the click and move to the right or to the left to increase or decrease your brush size. You will find also the power. You also have the opacity level. Um, to explain the difference between the power and the opacity is very complex and it works in very peculiar cases. So at the moment, just remember that it's easier for you to change the power rather than the opacity. We also have the drawing mode just here. So the drawing mode makes sense, especially when you are a low power, since it will allow you to redraw again and again and again and again. But the drawing mode is also interesting since once the drawing mode is enabled, if you draw something and you want to uh, erase a little bit, you can switch from the color mode to the erase mode by using the right click from your mouse or your stylus. So I use the tip of the stylus and here I use the right click. And there is also the gradient mode that will be explained in another tutorial. You'll notice two little letters just near from the size and the power. We have a P and we have a C. Actually, this space, when you can see a little letter, means there is a connection available. A connection is a way a parameter will be influenced by your tablet, by the way you are drawing on your tablet. So P for pressure and C for constant. It means constant, there is no change. With P for pressure, it just means that the pressure affects the size. Make it bigger. So if I drew kindly on my tablet, I have a tiny line and if I draw strongly on my tablet I have a very big line. You can change the connection by clicking on the letter. You have different modes so you have constant and then it definitely won't affect the size. You can use other modes like for example the speed. So here if I draw very Slowly, I have a small line, and if I draw fastly, I have a big line. You may also use the random mode. So here the line will randomly uh, change from 0 to 26.5. You can also change here the connection on the power. So here it's constant, but if I use pressure, then the pressure will affect the power. And actually I can combine both. I mean, I can use a connection on the power and on the size. So 
if I drew slowly, I have a, a tiny line. And the power will be affected only by the pressure, so I can have a tiny line, but still opaque. And if I draw fastly without um, without um, having a lot of pressure on my stylus, on my tablet, I have a big line, but still a little bit transparent. And if I draw fast and go very strong on my tablet, then I have a big line and opaque at the same time. So you have different parameters available following the tools. For example, with a pencil brush, you can even decide, uh, for example, the grain soft or hard. Or with your brush, you have four different modes for the grain, like silk, soft, medium, and hard. You can even change the light value, so the bigger the light is, the bigger the difference, the light levels, the contrast will be strong. And let's focus now on the airbrush. With the airbrush, I, and by the way, not only with the airbrush, we also have it with the pencil brush and the old brush, we have here a little um, graphic. If I click on this graphic, actually, I will affect the aspect, not really the aspect, but the, um, the profile of my brush. So you also have the size and the power, and you also have the aspect. The aspect will change the ratio of the brush. So you can have a thin brush or a round shape. You may also change the angle value. And you can also change, for example, the, the step option. The step option will work with brushes like uh, the airbrush, the pencil brush, or the oil brush. Actually, the, those brush, a brush, pencil brush, or oil brush, are just like stamp, you know. And by changing the step value, you change the gap between each stamp. So if I disable this option, then there is no gap anymore. And my brush is now more opaque. If I so the difference, and if I use the one by default, I have these results, and if I use a bigger one, I have these results. We also have the drawing option just here, and by the way, you will notice uh, with the aspect and the angle, we also have the connection available. So for example, I can decide to change my angle from constant to direction and to introduce you briefly something more advanced regarding the connection I will show you about the profile editor so just let me change some things okay so here I have just the pressure on the size if, for example, I would like to change the way the pressure affects the size, I can click here and use the profile editor. And here I can define exactly how the pressure and, uh, will affect the size. So, for example, I can flip the, X, uh, the different X's, and so now it's the contrary. So if I draw softly, I have 
a big line and if I draw very strongly I have a more thin line I can also play on some gradients and so I have some you see not really random but it looks like random pressure and we can also play on splines and so for example here make a big gap it's small or very big you see because of this straight line So it's just a way to show you how you can be very precise on your brushes because you can define a profile for each connections. <laughs> 